How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be unlocking the 94 overall switch hitting postseason Eddie Murray. Uh, you get that card by getting to 40 wins in the switch it up event. So here I wanted to go through this uh, this play right here. Cost me uh, pretty big in that situation. Two down I ended up pressing the wrong button after I already had the throw ready to go. I pressed triangle at the same time as pressing circle and it messed me up. It cost me a grand slam. I'm going to go ahead and hide the face cam so you guys can take a look at the PCI placement and some of these swings. And these first few games that I have included in this gameplay video were games that I played on stream yesterday. And I streamed for about six and a half hours for the majority of the day yesterday. And I really was just trying to get to 40 wins, trying to unlock the Eddie Murray card. I know that he's going for about 35k stubs. His price is going to drop as well I just kind of wanted to finish this event try this Ben Zobrist out I recently picked that card up for 300,000 stubs off the market so I wanted to kind of uh, just get through some of these games now and at this point in the stream I mean I'm a couple hours in I have been playing you know 10 to 15 games or so already so at times I am gonna get fatigued I'm gonna make stupid mistakes I mean I'm not gonna make excuses about those things but uh, the gameplay is starting to go downhill towards this portion of the stream. I've been giving up a ton of runs in uh, this event, which is going to happen regardless if I'm just starting out or if I'm 10 hours into a stream. Anyway, uh, we're trying to make the comeback. Ben Zobris has been really good. If I didn't give up that Grand Slam, I'm probably in a good position to win this game. But anytime you give extra outs to an opponent, anytime you give away opportunities... Uh, whether you're, you have guys in scoring position and don't score or you give away uh, outs on the base pass or any type of mistakes that you make that the opponent is able to take advantage of, uh, that is going to be at least somewhat of the difference in the game. Whether you're able to overcome those things, it's still going to have an effect on the outcome of the game in general. So here we do have an opportunity to, to make the comeback. We have Videl Brujan up, the game-winning run, bottom of the third inning. I felt like I got this one. I felt like I squared it up. As you can see, the PCI was not all the way on it. Hit it with the negative exit velo, and his center fielder makes a tremendous grab. Uh, Carlos Gonzalez got held up around third base there, just ever so slightly. Uh, had a messed up turn, rounding third, and that cost me the run. I felt like I could get in there uh, to score from second base. I was able to do it recently with Mickey Mantle, score from second base on a sack fly. He does have more speed, but also the outfielder ran into the wall in a very similar type of diving play. But this time around, I, it ended up losing me the game. I, I cost myself the game. I would have been able to tie it up. Anyway, we'll go ahead and hop into another one. Already gave up a home run in this game as well. But we tie it up at 1-1 one to one in the bottom of the first. Here we have Mickey Mantle up at the plate. And at this point, I'm trying to send the runner home. I'm trying to aim left with the left stick towards Chipper Jones, 64 speed. Send him home to get the... Uh, RBI, but it didn't work out. Next batter, uh, don't really know what happened. This is something that I think is the most frustrating thing in the entire game. When you can never tell if the ball gets down, I just sent the runners. I had no idea. I could have honestly ended in a triple play with that last play because if he catches it and I see that it looks like he dropped the ball, which has happened before, it's just some of that uh, input delay, some of the lag that goes in with the uh, opponent and that connection between the two of you. Uh, it's just something that's random, but here we are able to get something going at the plate smack out a two-run shot with Carlos Gonzalez That card has been absolutely amazing for me I recently unlocked the prospect version of the the Rockies card or the team affinity prospect gold card within the Rockies team affinity Because I've been using Carlos Gonzalez so many times in this event. I've used him the entire time He's played in every single game. He's been starting out there in the outfield so I have made some progress with Rockies players, which is pretty cool. I also used Nolan Arenado a lot in the last event. So that has helped me. I've been able to make progress towards Prestige Chipper Jones, Prestige Mickey Mantle, uh, unlock a couple or at least some program stars or team affinity stars in specific teams for that. I do have 19 of the uh, future stars stage 2 team affinities complete, 100% at 19 of the teams. But the other 11 teams that I have remaining... I don't really have much progress on other than about, you know, 15 to 20 percent in that range. And that's still in that's still on stage one. So anyway, we were able to uh, get something going in that last game. Now we are giving up some home runs in this one. Started off with the home run from Chipper Jones. He sends that one deep. I've been giving up so many home runs and extra base hits. 
just perfect, perfect hits to opponents Chipper Jones. That have that has been something that has been happening quite a bit in this event. This opponent got off to a great start. Top of the second, he goes deep with Yohan Moncada. Later in the top of the third inning, he's going to score every inning as he hits a home run with Miles Straw. Pretty sure that card is a bronze or a common. And he has 96 speed. More of a contact hitter. I don't even think he has contact. But he goes deep with them, and I end up losing that last game. So we got kind of in a... Uh, in a dry spell here we end up taking a few losses in a row definitely had some opportunities to win some of these games as you can see here first and third with mickey mantle up i just missed that slider didn't swing early enough and that's going to cost me pretty much the game i didn't score in the top of the second i had chances to score in the top of the first and third inning but uh was unable to get the job done so let's go ahead and get into another one starting it off with another two out home run given up my pitching has been terrible in this event. I mentioned it in the last video. My pitching has been absolutely brutal. Another two out home run here. Chipper Jones sends one deep. It's like the 15th or 20 home run I've given up. Probably uh, closer to the 20s in home runs given up to Chipper Jones in this event. In uh, probably the 50 games I played. Every other game seems like he goes deep. But same thing with Cargo, Cargo for me. Carlos Gonzalez sends another one out. Has like 10 home runs in this event that's definitely a nice card to use might consider trying them out in ranked seasons but that's why i wanted to get this eddie murray completed so that way i could get into ranked seasons uh and try to build my stubs back up i sold or, or i purchased ben zobris for three hundred thousand, but i probably will end up selling them just because i have some other guys i could probably use and i don't know if ben zobris is worth three hundred thousand stubs he's definitely a good card but uh, he has a lot of value, don't get me wrong, some of the most valuable, he's probably one of the most valuable cards in the entire game right now. But the only reason I'm probably going to sell him is the fact that I want to have some stubs saved up for future content, for future program cards, uh, just in case I want to buy all three of the bosses or uh, future cards that are, are going to be released. Now SDS did confirm that there is going to be a Hector Neris and a Brandon Crawford included in the may player of the month program that's going to be released later this thursday we'll have some content released uh today with some headliner packs we'll have a couple different things released throughout the week two headliners uh that may player of the month program entirely so we'll have a nice you know another 90 plus diamond that everybody will be able to unlock similar to the dd gregorius program for april but uh, in this situation i was able to finally clutch up i lost a couple games in a row we hit a walk-off home run with Vlad, and uh, that is going to be the 40th win. So I was able to complete this on stream as I almost fell asleep with how much I played the game, but it was just uh, a lot of fun. I had a great time streaming. I have never really played the game for like six and a half hours this entire year, so that was a lot of fun. I was extremely exhausted. Just my eyes were tired. I had a tough time reading pitches. I took a little bit of a break. I got some food and I played a couple more games in the event. I just wanted to include a few more highlights. And as you can see, I started to kind of square up the ball and uh, I was playing a lot better. I mean, focused on uh, swinging at good pitches a little bit more. Sometimes when I'm playing on stream, I just go into autopilot. I start swinging at everything. If I notice that it's a strike, I'm going to swing at it. And that's not really the best approach to have. So Sometimes I, I do some wrong, some stupid things, some wrong things in the game, but I'm trying to learn just as much as I can and how to uh, how to keep improving in gameplay, how to keep improving with the game itself and trying to figure it out each and every day. So uh, in this specific game, we got something going here with two outs, hit a couple of home runs in a row. That's going to make it a 7 nothing game. And who knows, maybe I will be able to... Uh, win some more of these event games after playing some ranked seasons. I don't really want to bounce back and forth between All-Star and Hall of Fame, so I'll probably just try and make it to World Series and then play the Switch It Up Part 2 event if there are still the same rewards just to finish off, I guess, the entire event. If they come out with new rewards, then that will be great as well. So anyway, I was able to win this game. The opponent did, of course, hit a home run with Chipper Jones, though. I wanted to include that as well. Uh, once again, gave up another one to, to Chipper, but I end up selling Ben Zobris, and it cost me about 10,000 to 11,000 stubs in the process in terms of taxes. I bought him for like 300,000, and I sold him for like 318,000 or something like that, and uh, ended up you know losing a few thousand stubs. But anyway, this is a team that we're rocking with. I will have some stubs remaining, uh, ready to go for some new cards released into the game. 
And that's kind of my goal, just to provide some new content, to provide debuts for different players. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I'm College Lefty, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.